Hello everybody, my name is Trollmaker. This is the War Game Cup 2012 tournament put on by UGen Systems, sponsored by Intel, and we have a really great game for you today. We have two very high rated players too. I'm not sure which is which. So um you know, I I, I believe Delta is a two thousand rated player, and he does really, really well. And Firestarter is actually a twenty two hundred rate player. I think. I'm pretty sure that's true. So we're going to see some of the best gameplay in the tournament. Because these are two people who know their top contenders. They're not going to be pulling any punches. No stops. They're going to be giving the best of the best. They're not going to do some crazy all-in rushes. They're going to play standard good play. And if one of these assholes gets like a 10,000 helicopters and just rushes, you know, call me Sally. Yeah. Sally silly, of course. Speaking of this not being an all-in, looking at the loadout here for Firestarter, we see that he's actually deploying a lot of anti-aircraft. Much, much more anti-aircraft than we've seen from most players. Just a lot, like that's three, five, six anti-aircraft artillery weapons. So lots of anti-aircraft weaponry. Um, he's got a few of these cavalry tanks, two of them, some T-55s, and some infantry. This is a map where tanks do very, very well. Why? Because there's all these giant open areas to attack, and there's small amounts of cover, but not enough. There's a few areas on the map that are good for uh, jungling with your infantry. There's one right here. That's not too bad. There's one right here, and there's one right here. But there's, generally speaking, this is not a good infantry map. Speaking of this is not a good infantry map, we see a lot of infantry for Delta, who is in fact going to go for some sort of jungling strategy. He also has um, six helicopters deployed and just lots of TPC folks you know this might be just an all in <laughs> I know I just said this wasn't an all in but it could be some crazy all in um, there was a game featuring Tiga no it wasn't Tiga it was Komarami and Lord Gamer and Lord Gamer did something that no one's ever done before he used helicopters and he microed helicopters and he split them up quite effectively and he just showed people how effective helicopters can be against anything at all including anti-aircraft and uh, a lot of people have actually been incorporating helicopters back into their play but keep in mind these helicopters will not be quite effective because we have from Firestarter a lot of anti-aircraft keep in mind these are two players who could easily be top 64 for the tournament facing off against each other as I continue speaking in my very, very Star Trekian ways, three flanks here for Delta. He has a southern sneaky flank here with some flak panzers, command armor, and a recon. He's got some infantry coming down the center. Gazelle's coming on the right side, and another group of infantry coming in the center. And the idea here is to create situations in which the enemy feels awkward and Speaking of awkwardness, they're actually going to do some mirroring here as, no, nope, never mind, this is to secure this flank. Generally speaking, you do not want to run all your units through one direction. You want to split them up into various directions. Why? Because they get picked off very, very easily. And it looks like Delta is actually going to run to a BTR Zalo. If he deploys on top of this, he could actually get some pretty easy, easy wins right here. And speaking of infantry being deployed in jungles, here we go, Mott Schutzens versus the Yagers. <coughs> Yagers are in denser, higher numbers, and we'll take it. And, uh, looks like the Shasters are right on top of this Zalo. Haven't been deployed yet, not sure why. Might be too focused on this little battle here, where the Yagers are just tearing up the Machutans and the Spoo 60 PBs, and they're down. This UAZ Recon is sneaking around. Is he even spotted? He is not. No, he is. He totally is. He's just getting away. Because there actually are no, uh, tanks here to deal with that. Infantry's biggest weakness is a lack of high range on attacks. And we can see a very large flank being put around here for uh, Delta. And he's using these helicopters fairly defensively. Just wants to pick off any if he can. There's a gunship helicopter here for him to pick off. It's currently landing. So that means he's getting some free hits off. And here he goes. Here comes a free hit. <coughs> he's gonna play M621 guns and already. Since these helicopters are landed, they're not actually firing back. Kind of scary. I don't know why Firestar has them at low altitude right now. They need to be up in the air, or they're going to get picked off for freezies. And let's look at the bases that these guys have decided to take. Let's take a little break. A little bit of a break. We see four Delta. He has maintained Alpha. And he has a command armor. 
down here, Delta, sneaking away, wanting to get to this flank. This flank is an interesting one because it leads straight into this one, and you can create a pincer flank. A pincer is when an enemy has his units all on one line, pointed in one direction, and you hit him on the side. That's all a pincer means. And uh, <coughs> fire started going for something safer, taking Echo and Bravo. And here comes some jungling strategies when I'm talking about it. This is the one jungle we can really do this with. And um, you might get this progo though, that's pretty big. The less anti-aircraft that's on the, on the on the map, the harder it will be for um, for Firestar to defend off these cannons. And oh my god, the progas are, are unwinding already. We're gonna take out a cannon looks like. And Delta actually still has a loop of the lead right now. Kind of scary. Panic, supported by the TGZ fleets. And this infantry helicopter rush is actually doing quite some damage. You see in the jungle here. <coughs> the Chasseurs are devouring this army that has no cover. The Topazes will go next. And we see he's still pushing forward with his TPZ books and helicopters. Splitting up the helicopters quite effectively so they don't get knocked out at all at the same time. Gunship helicopter stunning this group of TPZ books as it looks like this program might be able to get this cannon here. And we're going to see a pretty big shift right now in the leads. And boom, Firestarter in the lead. He's going to deploy and drop. Really drop in time, really drop on the right location. If he can get this command armor, it all makes it worthwhile. And here comes the infantry moving in, right on top of command armor. Oh my god, he's going to deploy on top. He's going to deploy, deploy, deploy. Oh my god. The Yagas are winding up. They take the shots. They're firing. And he gets the command armor. He steals the command armor. Delta has taken a 200 point lead. This opening play, this infantry helicopter all in has more than paid off. The Yagas are going to get chased off left and right. The helicopter is already going down. But all the costs that he's going to incur here will not be made up by this command lead. And you got to understand that it's not just the points. It's not just for the 200 points. It's the fact that the loss of that command member is 2 points per 5 seconds worth 35 in a game. Let's do some quick math here. That's 20 points a minute. That's a lot of 300 points per game. That's 300 points that Firestarter will not have the entire game. That's 300 points worth of units not available to him. That's something. And now... Oh my god, he actually, while he's doing all this, he had a Yager sneak through here. And... Where's the other command armor? Where is the other command armor? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh, there it is. Whew. I thought I thought Delta just bopped Firestarter. I thought it really happened, but it didn't. Colo was unloading on a Yager. Of course, if he moved any of these units forward to the Colo, he would just steal it. But he's not going to. And uh, there's still some stuff here for for uh, Firestarter to deal with. There is a cannon. It's running low on ammunition, <coughs> but everything here is actually still doing damage. In fact. If this Spadal Kandarski is too far from the FOB, he can actually just lose the FOB right now. Kind of weird and scary. And these groups of Yagers are still available, not really doing much. The Burotinos are getting pretty damn close to his TPC folks. Oh my god, TPC folks could actually snipe another commander. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, it didn't happen. <laughs> he doesn't really know what to do with the commander right now. He's gotta hide it. Because this infantry helicopter rush is insane! I haven't seen anything this good with infantry helicopters. I've seen Ben do do stuff with tanks, anti-tank weapons, and anti-aircraft weapons really effectively, but nothing this crazy. He's actually chasing down the Buratino and the Command Armor with anti-infantry vehicles, all the while these Yagers are being eroded and thrown into place. This is madness. There's of course our group's Yagers here, they're picked up by these cavalry tanks the Fire Setter has, and wow. The lead is slowly getting chipped away for Delta, and he's going to have to start thinking beyond this push, because this push was very effective, and uh, I, I think the difference between the top players in the game, <coughs> who are doing very well with rushes, and those that are not doing so well, are the people who have a follow-up plan, and uh, right now it's up to Delta to come up with a, a follow-up plan that's going to work. And, oh my god, that command armor is in such trouble right now. It's perfect. There's a Burtino here as well. Like, any of these would be a, a crazy pickoff. And he's chasing down the Burtino. He's in range of the Machus. He's going to get grenaded down, of course. The Machus is running out and just firing on all occasions. Um, 
not able to snipe that command. The command is in fact running around the backside. There's still a Shasu in the jungle here. Two, sh in fact, five Shasus here. So still a lot of the open. He's following up with some Weasel MK support Teagles. Anti infantry are their specialty, and they do fairly well against most things. So <coughs> pretty good follow up here by um, Delta. In midst of all that action, oh here it is. Yes, of course, this was where it's supposed to be. And this actually makes sense. If you're going to do a put... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so. Let's go back to what he did. He had a flank of infantry coming along the side here. A flank of helicopters on the side here. So he had infantry on the inside track. Air, helicopter side. The infantry would take care of all the anti-aircraft along the inside. The helicopter would move along the outside. They struck at Bravo. They came in purely for a command snipe. Then, he had another group of units come up the middle here. Maintain the middle location <coughs> so that there's no movement between to these points here. He took this location here, and with all these points, he picked up infantry and swamped this location, pincering this army. What a brilliant tactic for this player, for Delta. Who, I've seen some Delta games, and whoa, he has switched into helicopters, and he's going to pick off a tank, looks like, with these helicopters. Two cavalry tanks, expensive. Now, look at that. Whoa. This guy is just impressing me. It would impress me more <coughs> if Firestar was. He does have a lead right now. And realistically, what he has to do right now is survive. And that's, you know, he has, he has no reinforced point. He's not getting any points. Uh, all Delta has to do right now is just do these plays in which he can try and snipe command armors and key units. Anything like this. And Cobra looks like it's stopping actually to. Nope, it's firing up. Oh my god. Oh my god. This could be it. This could be it. One. Dead. That's it. That's game. That is game. That's over. It's over. Firestarter. Firestarter, one of the highest rated players in the world, is out of the tournament. He has been bopped. He has been bopped by Delta, who just did a build order win. That is crazy. Whew. I have the willies. I have goosebumps. I might have to stop casting for the day. This is just too much. This is too much. This is too much. This is the biggest upset of the tournament. Firestarter. A guy who's easily top 16. He's out. It's over. He's gone. Finito. I'm sure there's tons of players who are wiping the sweat off their brows as they realize that now they don't have to deal with Firestarter. However, they do have to deal with Delta who has been bopping bros left and right and has proved his position in this tournament. My name is Trollmaker. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this game because I know I did.